To tell you the truth, I became a little bit bored with HF operation and shortwave. Um, it has become, how shall I say this, a little bit too predictable. I've got a nice vertical antenna with a perfect uh, radio system, um, plenty of um, shortwave radios, HF radios, and uh, some linear amplifiers as well. So I decided to go back to my roots. And uh, I remember the time when I got my first license, in it was, and it was only for VHF and UHF. And it was called the C license. So uh, I was allowed to have 10 watts uh, on uh, frequencies above 144 megahertz, I believe. So to do this, um, I got myself one of these recently. Well, yesterday, to be precise. It's the uh, Kenwood TR751E. And it's a 2 meter multi mode radio, meaning it does FM, of course. But this is not why I bought it. It also does CW. And uh, let me get it out. CW and a single sideband, of course. That's just a basic microphone, up down to, um, buttons, which I never ever use. And this is the actual radio. For what it is, it's actually quite heavy. Uh, hang on a second. All right, this is the one. It used to be very, very popular amongst the VHF and UHF operators. There is an equivalent for 70 centimeters. It's called the 811. Is it? No, it's the 851. The 811 is the base station. Um, so I bought, I bought this and I have a small um, portable mast and a four or five element Yagi. And uh, I intend to drive on a hilltop at the weekend and see what I can get. Just like the old days when I didn't have a radio station at home because I couldn't have an antenna and uh, I was also living in a sort of a, a valley or a ditch. So I'm going to uh, some sort of hilltop nearby, I won't drive more than five, six miles. And I will plug this into the lighter socket of my car. It draws uh, very little current, it only does 25 watts anyway. And uh, even if I operate for a few hours, I will still be able to start my car without any problems. And see what I get. Um, if you're looking for a two meter radio, this is going to be a short video anyway. Oh yeah, while you're here, by the way, consider subscribing. You might as well do it right now. Down there somewhere, left, right. Uh, you will see, it says subscribe, basically. Click on it, subscribe. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, see what I can get. It's also good for somebody who wants to get from the family at the weekend, or the family needs to get away from you for a bit, which is more likely, if you're any anyway like me. Um, and have some fun. If you get one on 70 centimeters as well, you might as well try um, satellite operation, mobile. Interesting bits and pieces uh, can be done on uh, VHF, UHF or SHF. Although I don't think there is anything for 23 centimeters. Having said that, these are perfect uh, radios as IF stages for transverters, for example. Um, there's so much to do on VHF, UHF. I urge you, you know, give it a go. You might find it interesting. Uh, tune to one four four three hundred plus minus. Give a shout out in SSB, and you will be surprised what you can get. Um, the conditions are good quite now, right now. So, um, yeah, two things to look out for. One of them is uh, the uh, volume and and uh, squelch knob. Which one is it? Well, one of the two. These are very low quality, and they uh, after a while they they fail to work basically. So if you buy one, and you will have to buy one used if you don't already own one, um, check this. Yeah, if they make any noise, then stay stay away. They will fail eventually. There isn't pot in the uh, TS850 that can be used to replace this. I think it's one hundred kilo ohm. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I need to look it up, or you look it up for me, and let me know. We don't have the spares for this knob. Um, and even if we do, I keep them for myself, basically. This is what you have to look out for. And also something minor, this little rubber ring on the VHO uh, knob comes off. So if you go a mobile, just pull a dab of glue on it so you don't lose it in, uh, in the field. Um, anything else? You should be all right, really. Um, we didn't have too many of these uh, with ma major faults. The uh, PA section is very forgiving and rock solid. So you don't have to worry too much if your SWR is not 100% perfect. It's overrated anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, good luck. And I'll see you on two meters, hopefully. Now I'm going to hunt down and fly in here. Should close the door, really. See ya. Subscribe.